Hello again everyone This is the second part of our lesson and welcome to nafham.com Thirdly we will talk about nucleus It is the most obvious organelle in the cell that you can see under the microscope It often has a spherical or oval shape and located in the middle of the cell Furthermore it's surrounded by a double membrane called the nuclear envelope which separates the contents of this nucleus from the cytoplasm there are several tiny pores in the nuclear envelope through which the substances pass between the nucleus and the cytoplasm the nucleus contains a transparent gelatinous fluid called nucleoblasm this nucleoblasm contains many tangled threads coiled around themselves and called the chromatin the nucleus also contains another structure called the nucleolus the cell nucleus may contain more than a nucleolus especially in the cells responsible for forming and producing the protein substances such as enzymes, hormones and so on we will have a look at the structure of the nucleus as you see here, this is the nuclear envelope. It contains of two membranes, the outer membrane and the inner membrane. This is the nucleolus here, and this is the nucleoplasm. The chromatin here is a green color, which contains of hetero and eurochromatin. Here are the ribosomes and the nuclear bore here we will talk about structure of chromosomes during cell division chromatin gets changed into rod like structures called the chromosomes chromosome appears in the metaphase of the cell division consists of two threads joined together and central part called centromere each thread of those two threads is called a chromatid each chromatid is composed of nucleic acid DNA coiled around the molecules of proteins called stone DNA carries the genetic information that controls the shape and structure of the cell and organizes the vital activities of the living organism cells all our body traits are inherited from our ancestors and we inherited them throughout transferring copies of the stored genetic material which is being copied to the new generations during reproduction here is our meaning chromosomes were given this name because they are stained by the basic dyes and they take a color the stain that makes them more clearly seen during cell division this is a 3d model of a chromosome and I have designed another model in a 3d software to make it clear as you see here As we see here, this is a component of a chromosome. Okay. So, fourth, we will talk about cytoplasm. It's almost a fluid-like substance present between the cell membrane and the nucleus. It's mainly composed of water and some organic and inorganic substances. It also contains a network of threads and microtubules that acquire the cell as support to help it maintain its shape and form. 
In addition to its work as passages to transfer the different substances from one place to another inside the cell and is called the cytoskeleton. The cytoplasm also contains a group of various structures known as cell organelles. Some of these organelles are not surrounded by a membrane and called non-membranous organelles such as ribosomes and centrosome while some other organelles are surrounded by a membrane and called membranous organelles such as endoplasmic reticulum Jolzi apparatus mitochondria lysosomes vacuoles and blastids Ribosomes are round-shaped organelles that synthesize the protein in the cell. Some of them are present in the cytoplasm, single or in clusters, where the protein is produced and directly released in the cytoplasm. The cell uses it in its vital processes such as growth, regeneration, and so on while most ribosomes are attached to the outer surface of the endoplasmic reticulum and produce the proteins transferred by endoplasmic reticulum to the outside of the cell, such as enzymes, after entering some changes to it. Now we're gonna talk about centrosome. Animal and some fungi cells, except for nerve cells or ne neurons, contain two tiny particles called centrioles. They are located near the nucleus in a region of the cytoplasm. The region is called centrosome. The centrosome is not present in the plant and some fungi cells. These cells contain a region of cytoplasm to conduct the same functions instead. Each centriole is composed of nine groups of microtubules ordered in trebles in a spherical shape. The centrosome plays an important role during cell division, where the spindle filaments extend between the centrioles present at each pole of the cell. The centrosome also plays an important role in forming the flagella and cilia. This figure shows the centrioles as it con consists of microtubules here. Microtubules. And this is the end of our second part of our lesson. You can find the third part and it's the last part on nafham.com. And of course, goodbye for now.